Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. We uh, recently did some auto trading. We picked up a little Ford SUV and we found a phone app in the Play Store called Ford Pass. It does a lot of very good little things like auto start the car, unlock, lock doors, and various other things. So we put it on the phone. We're going to show you how to use it. Okay, I'm going to show you an app. If you have a Ford vehicle, they have something called Ford Pass. See it right there? Open that up. All kinds of things you can do. Go to account. There's You get credits for taking it in for services and various things like that. Settings. Username, password. You'll need to set all that the first time out. Connected services. Help. How about vehicle if you go down here to data driving data journeys see I don't have any journeys set so there's not going to be anything there I don't have any recorded but you can record in the last 30 days where things where you've been where you go and that kind of stuff so if you go to service Vehicle health reports, service history, maintenance schedule, you, you know, what you want to do, 30,000 mile package, various things like that. References, status. Now here you can go in and say oil change, oil life remaining. I have approximately 5,000 miles distance. So it um, looks like April of 20, 2022, I should get another oil change. It, it keeps all that for you. Uh, let's see, service, vehicle, health reports, been through all that, hadn't we? Data, having data, more, Ford Pass rewards, that tells you things you can get. Oh, we got a mess, message center. I like this. Forget where you parked, you can go to the map and it'll tell you where your car is. Look at here, November 23rd through December 6th, Sirius XM is turning on 100 plus channels in your Ford for two weeks. So they tell you all kinds of little things like that. So let's go home and let's go to Ford Credit, Edit Profile, View and Edit Profile. That's me right there. So I'll, all my information. First time you're in, you'll have to enter all this. So you don't need to see my information. So settings and preferences, username, journey, unit, units of measure. You can get kilometers and miles, tire pressure, how you want it, various things like that. So vehicle, schedule start, dealer, status, service. Service history, reference guide, your warranty, vehicular information right there. Go in until it first time you go in, you click on it, you have to find the kind of car you have. You give it your license plate and your VIN number. That way it'll be able to track you. Now there's a lot of things you can do here. If you go back to the home, we'll go outside and I'll show you some things you can do here. Okay. See so your home. See where it says start? Watch here. Once you get all that stuff logged into here, showing that it's hooked to your car, hold that start button. It's going to start the car. Watch here. Now they have one called start. If you hold that, it'll start the car for you. It'll hold it for a couple seconds. There you go. Here it start. Now if you want to stop it, you want to turn the car off, it says start, press it again and it'll stop. There you go. See it stopped it. You can lock and unlock the doors. Let's hold that down. We'll lock the doors. Okay. You can unlock it or lock it either one. So. Let's hold it down and we'll lock it. 
press down and hold the lock. Here he's about to lock it. There he went, locked it. Now you can unlock it by holding the other one down. Now if you want to unlock it, press the other one and hold it. All right. So there's a lot of things you can do there. If you don't have this, it's free. Go download it from your app store and it's free. It's called Ford Pass. So I like to keep up with tire pressure and that kind of stuff. I go over here to vehicle status, tire pressure. See how the pressure is in my car right now? 32, 34, 34, and 35. All right. So that's what it is. Ford Pass. P-A-S-S -S is the name of it. Go check it out. It's free. All right. If you can, please help support this channel. You can send us things to video. We'll get them up here for you. If you'd like to leave a donation, there's links to PayPal and Patreon, either one, in the description below. And thanks for watching this video, and we will see you next time.